Hello, hello everyone. Hello guys. How are you? And today I missed you guys. I hope you're having an awesome, awesome, awesome day on today. Well, guess what? Guess what time it is? It is story time with Miss Doris on today, on this evening. Well, I hope you guys had an awesome, awesome day. But before we get started with our story, I'd like to greet everyone all over the world. I would like to say hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and to some, good night. Someone is going to bed somewhere in the world, but guess what? You are just in time for story time with Miss Doris. I have an awesome, awesome short story for us, and today is going to be coming out of our Bible stories of friendship, Bible stories of friendship booklet in which what is going to be coming out of today. And to today's title we're going to be reading is Friends Help Out, and it's going to be coming from Mark, out of our Bible, Mark. Chapters 2, 1 through 12. Mark chapter 2, 1 through 12. So we're not going to do the story time song today. We're just going to go ahead on and get started with our story. Greetings to all of you. I hope you're having an awesome, awesome evening and today. A real friend sticks closer than a brother. And that's coming from the scripture Proverbs 18 and 24. Friends help out. Mark chapter 2, 1 through 12. Four men carried their paralyzed friend to see Jesus, who was teaching in a house with a huge crowd of people around. Knock, knock, knock. No one answered. One man opened the door and called. Hello, but no one paid attention because they were listening to Jesus. Excuse me, excuse me, please. Turn the music down just a tad bit. Excuse me, excuse me, please. Another man said, but no one could move because the house was too full. Look up there, said one of the men. The friends climbed up to the roof of the house and pushed away some hay. They pulled some branches and moved some planks of wood out of the way. Then they lowered their friend through the hole in the roof, right where, right to where Jesus stood. Jesus healed the paralyzed man, and now there wasn't just four men, four friends walking, excuse me. There were five friends running, jumping, dancing, and praising God together. Wow, what a beautiful story. Friends, they were friends to the end. They was not leaving until their friend got touched. Friendship. A true friend will even, a true friend will help even when it's difficult to do. I'm there through the good and the bad when I'm a friend to you. Friends, up and downs. What are friends for? Playing games and laughing at jokes. Picnicking or splashing in the water. Cleaning up a mess us listening to you when you're sad. Helping you when you are sick. Wow. I love friends like that. Friends are to be there when you need them most. I enjoy reading you guys a short story on this evening. Well, remember, if you're not feeling well, always, always let someone know that you're not feeling well. And guess what? They will take really, really, really good care of you. And when you're out and about, make sure you're practicing safety first. Make sure you're washing and sanitizing your hands at all times. It is summer, so we want you guys well and to enjoy your summer and when you come to those places of establishments those that has for you to wear your mask make sure you're wearing your mask at all times don't take your mask off and let someone tell you to i enjoy reading you an awesome awesome story on today remember if you're not smiling on today i hope once you see miss doris's smile at story time you are smiling Take care. Have an awesome, awesome day. See you on tomorrow. God bless you all.